it's very important that we raise successful generation of learners. We want children who are able to connect to a new situation. At LifeSpring, our goal is to raise confident and successful learners. Whereby we mold lives, we shape lives. Leaving this print in the light of our customers. The children are our primary customers, the parents are secondary customers. It was very wonderful. It was a lovely time, you know, to spend time with the children, with the teachers and also other parents. It was good. Life Spring is a place where you come in and you get refined. We ensure that parents get value for whatever money they have invested in their children. Here we have made sure that we are not deficient in anything that the children require to learn effectively. Our children, they have access to learning resources. Our curriculum here in Lightspring is broad-based. We issue books to the children. Every child gets a book to read every week. We have the ICT room, which is fully equipped. In the ICT room, you will find the desktop computers, you will find the laptop computers. Our children from year one, they are coding. So it's internationally accepted um, ICT curriculum. We have electronic boards. Through that, we're able to access globally available softwares to teach. The children are enrolled for extracurricular activity groups. Activities such as the music, I supervise robotics and um, I would say it's an interesting one. We offer Taekwondo, Science Inventors, board games, chess, Monopoly, Scrabble. We have a blend of the best of the British education as well as the Nigerian education. But we are guided by the principles of the Montessori education and also by the practice. We implement it practically at our school. The school is interested in the growth of both their staff and pupils. We come across children from different home fronts, with different backgrounds and with different personalities. Most times I always look for a way to have a positive impact in their life. One of our values is teamwork. There is this bondness, closeness, relationship among staff is cordial and I can say categorically that we are on top of our game with that here we have a continuing character education going on it's um, something we teach and it's something we live by it we teach it and whatever is taught to the children we want to see practical demonstration of it Anytime I step into that gate every morning, I see myself like them, I play with them, I come to their level, we sing rhymes together, I make them feel you don't have to be afraid of anything, there's nothing you cannot do as long as you are with me or you are in my class. I set targets and in setting my target, I carry my children along. I relate to the children on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It exposes you to, you know, better methods of teaching. You get to meet people from other schools, you know. You have forums where you meet other educators and it keeps getting better. The fact that I can plant a seed, a thought, an idea, knowledge with another human being and see it blossom to a beautiful flower. It makes a whole difference. And for some children, they need you to encourage them, they need you to, to talk to them. So I, I, as much as possible, I use them awards, stickers, to encourage the children, to stimulate them, to motivate them. I have a wonderful class. 
the set of children I have now, they are praiseworthy because they put in their best and that encourages me a lot. It encourages me to, you know, want to take them further, a step further, you know, in everything we do. It gladdens my heart when I see that the children I'm teaching, they go home with good grades and they are well behaved. There is this joy that comes within me that I'm fulfilled teaching them and seeing them responding while learning is taking place. Here we have a um, community service. We go out, we have a host community, the Magodo Brooks Estate, surrounding communities. We go for community service um, activities. So therefore everybody knows that um, you don't want to be a Luca or a Lagos Luca. No, every child in Lashwin understands that I have a responsibility to my environment. So if a child is walking along the hallway and there's trash on the floor, let's say a litter, a piece of paper, that child is expected to pick it up. Each of us is responsible to the environment. We are all responsible to our communities. Um, if we want to see change, we have to be a part of that change. We have to be at the forefront of that change. I've gone through um, experiences that have really shaped my mentality and my belief about teaching. There is um, unity between um, the staff, um, parents, teachers. Both parents, teachers, management, we understand each other and we work in cooperation to achieve the best. They also have this unique system that looks into the welfare of both children and parents. We didn't have the pedigree that some of the older schools had as in length of time, so we had the challenge of convincing prospective parents that, look, yes, we're new, but we do know what we're doing. Every child has his or her own strength, his or her own weaknesses and challenges. I make learning fun to all of them. I don't make them see it as something be a bit difficult, like a challenge to them. Make them have fun while learning. They have a listening ear. They run an open door policy whereby parents can bring in their inputs, their contributions. Um, parents are free to also make corrections where they find it necessary. One of the challenges we faced initially was public perception because um, people tend to equate the size of a school to the quality of learning and teaching going on in their school. So we had to convince the parents that look, it's not about the frills and the fancy buildings. We have a standard place of learning, but look beyond the size of the school and look at what your children are going to gain by enrolling them with us. Teacher is given the opportunity to improve on his or herself by sending you for trainings, by giving you tax. It's a little bit difficult trying to get those children to achieve their target. As an educator, I understand that people are not the same. Some of these children, you don't really get feedback from them because while you teach, they don't respond and you are wondering what is really happening. Some who have some emotional disturbances in the classroom, who are psychologically affected and for such children, you, um, you can't get the attention. And I've gone for different trainings on how to teach, how to impact knowledge into the young ones. So I was able to get some trainings that assisted me in getting through these challenges. So I've been able to work with the children. I call them and then we speak and we talk and at the end of the day I get their attention. Our parents do come in to teach. They come in, they take classes. Um, if we have a particular program like um, the library week, the parents will come in to read to the children. They try as much as possible to ensure that the standard Nigerian government has put in place and the policies as concerning education and they also benchmark with what obtains outside Nigeria. So that way they are able to ensure that the child or the children in their care get the best 
in terms of education. I know you fully well that I'm in the, in the preschool session on how to teach them different things, how to make the lesson more meaningful, more fun to them. When you teach and you are able to even touch the lives of the children, you see it in their expressions, you see it in their output that they are really learning. And for them to trust us with their children, and once we have the first parent, the second parent sign up from there, it's been good. We have values that we live by, and every child of Life's from Montessori School knows the value of the school, can tell you the values of the school, and lives by the values of the school. There are so many schools around, but I found Life Springs to be a home away from home for my child. It's a place where you can be rest assured that you get value for your money. Any child who attends Life Springs Montessori School, I can assure you can hold his own wherever he finds himself. We've had parents who had to relocate overseas some to South Africa, some to America, and we get feedback from them. And honestly, the feedback has been very encouraging. It's a fertile ground where you plant um, seeds of knowledge and then you watch it blossom into beauty. I don't expect that any child who has been through life from Montessori school will encounter any situation and have no idea of what to do. We ensure that our cultural values are not lost. We also involve the parents, saying to them that the message is that we must not allow our languages to die. I, King of Allah, King of the universe, I take the truth from the mother king and she gives another lot of people my wrath. Here in Spring. It's Christmas and um, as a yearly event, Lightspring organizes Christmas Carol. So today is another day for Christmas Carol. What do you know about carols? Um, a lot of us, I know carols are usually sung around Christmas time and it sort of helps everyone get into the holiday season. Were you touched by the carol? Oh yes, the carol was fantastic. All of the hymns, all of the songs were fantastic because they actually talk about the birth of Christ, you know, and that's the reason for the season. Many people walk into your life. The ones that really matter are the ones that leave their footprints. I think I am fulfilled seeing them talk very well, seeing them reading, seeing them writing their numbers. I'm fulfilled as, as a teacher. Children have passed through the school, gone on to secondary school, and they're doing very well at their respective schools. Um, I will say, yes, we have had a very fulfilling 10 years as a school. I only see these young ones, these young minds, coming, some of them, they, they are barely talking, some of them have started talking. And this same child graduates, you know, before your eyes, you know, having acquired so much knowledge and other skills. For me, that's um, life. We would have um, our children in positions of influence, that is our expectation. 
who would have expanded, who would have grown in every area. Um, our children will be policy makers. They will make difference in the society. They will make a difference in the society. Next few years, I hope, I pray that Lightspring would have added another school, like an annex, and also a secondary school. Maybe I'll be watching the television and I'll say, oh, that's mine. That, that used to be my pupil. Yes.